Gemini, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a love and relationship reading for Gemini from the 21st of January to the 3rd of February 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. And I put the decks that I'm using in the description box and links to Amazon and eBay. So click on these links uh, if you want to buy the decks. And don't forget to watch my deck walkthrough series as well as your 2019 spreads. I will link them at the end of the video. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages have resonated with you. So I'm going to just do the general energy read for you and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, so it seems like there's been, uh, you've been involved in a relationship where there's a lot of betrayal, and it was a very one-sided relationship, it seems. Um, and there was a lot of manipulation that went on within this relationship. And, you know, your heart was very broken. After that relationship ended, you developed the sense of lack of trust. So you're not really trusting anybody, and, you know, it seems like, you know, you don't want to make any kind of long-term plans because you were betrayed. And, um, you know, uh, it's just... Uh, and you suffered a lot of heartbreak as well. So now it seems like something new is opening up for you. There's a first date coming up. Uh, and this person seems to be very loyal, very devoted as well. So maybe it's worth taking that risk, taking that chance on a new date. So a first date coming up for you. And there's a lot of loyalty and devotion. Maybe you've known this person for a long time. And they're going to be, it's going to be something that's really good for you. So it's about time, you know, maybe it's time to forget the past and take a chance on something new. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So this is the Art Nouveau Tarot. And I have put the deck in the description box. It is quite a rare deck, so it's a bit difficult to get a hold of. Uh, but I'll see if I can get a link for you so that you can buy the deck if you like. So the main energies are the Seven of Swords. And this is having illusions about things. So maybe you have an idea about what you want. Uh, you know, you've been, you know, it's a bit unrealistic, these expectations. Uh, and, you know, you need to um, come up with a better idea of what you want in your head, in your mind. So, you know, you've got an idea about what you want. It might not be based on reality. It might be based on, you know, because of your past experiences, um, you know, things that you want now are, are you know, maybe you've made a, a list uh, about what you expect out of a relationship and, um, you know, it might not be based in reality. So, you know, and you could also well be thinking about somebody from the past, uh, you know, who caused a lot of problems from you. So that's been playing on at the back of your mind. And maybe you're comparing all new relationships to this previous relationship that you had, um, you know, and uh, this might not be um, a good idea uh, to be doing, to be comparing everything. Maybe you're trying to also work out exactly what happened in that particular relationship, why it broke down. But you're definitely thinking a lot about, um, you know, what is going on, um, a, a person from that past, that past relationship. You're spending a lot of time and effort thinking about it. So you've got this man concentrating on his sword. So his thoughts are all about this previous relationship in the past. And, you know, it's, it's whatever it is, it's not being based on, on uh, realistic expectations. Maybe you had expectations that should have... Uh, you know, you had illusions about it as well. So this could well be the case. So what's happening with you? You've got the four of uh, pentacles over here and it's crossed by the seven of cups. So you've got two sevens over here and both of them are like almost illusion cards. Um, so here you are, um, you know, clinging on to a memory Um that is not based in reality. It's it's quite a dream, almost like a dream stance. You're just clinging on to things, the good things that you're remembering, the beautiful th things that you're remembering from that past. 
and you know it's not um, it's not based in reality it's it's uh, flawed um, but you're hanging on to it it's like you don't want to let it go because to let it go would to be would be to let go of that relationship or that idea of a relationship and you know it maybe you were in love with the idea rather than being in love with the person so it's time for you to you know wake up and uh, not um, uh, romanticize the past or romanticize that person so much so you know you're clinging so tightly onto it, it it's time for you to let go of that situation and that's the only way you can heal and move on so you've got the page of cups over here it seems like there might have been some kind of offer that has come in for you maybe an invitation uh to go out to have you know get into a new relationship uh but it doesn't seem like you have taken it this person is the king of coins so you might be working with this person and they may have made an offer then you know some kind of communication coming in for you uh and this person seems to have maybe they've asked you out they seem to be well established very reliable uh, you know they know what they want uh, they might be uh, a businessman uh, and uh, they look like they're very stable as well, uh, you know, pretty um, established in whatever field that they're working in. Now, you've got the magician card in your mind, and you do want to manifest something new. You want something new to begin. Uh, you want to open up communication. You want to, you want to bring love back into your life again, and this has been playing on your mind. Going into the future, you've got the page of coins. So it looks like there's definitely news of a relationship. So this king of coins could be asking you out. And this could well be the beginning of a relationship with this page of coins. And it is somebody that you work with. So it's somebody at work, uh, somebody involved with finances. You know, uh, this has got to do with work, money. So that's why I say it could be somebody at work and they are making an offer to you. Um, you might be focusing a lot on your work and not even seeing that this is an offer, that this person is interested um, because you've got your head down and you're just focusing on work. But some kind of communication coming in, some kind of invitation coming in. And you've got two invitations. So one is an emotional one, you know, a, a, a almost a romantic invitation. And this one is, it's almost like maybe uh, they make uh, an offer to you and it, it comes across as being a, uh, a work offer, um, you know, like a working dinner, but it is actually a romantic dinner. So, you know, it could be disguised. It could be a romantic offer disguised as a work offer, but definitely some kind of communication coming in out on the work front um, and somebody probably asking you out. Now, you've got the Queen of Staves as your energy. So you are coming across as a very independent woman who knows exactly what she wants or an imp independent person, rather, that comes across as knows exactly what they want. They've got uh, the power in their hands. They know, uh, you know, they're very dynamic and uh, very attractive and, you know, people love them and they're very entertaining and very funny. And that's the kind of energy that you're coming across as very witty. Um, but you're around you, people do see that you're trying to get over uh, relationships that, you know, didn't work out for you. So there are, is a lot of support. You can see this man offering his uh, hand, um, putting his hand on this woman's shoulder. So they are offering you support. And, um, you know, in, in all kinds of ways, emotional support as well as financial support is being given to you. So you are receiving a lot of um, support from people around you, uh, be it on the emotional front, also on a financial front as well. So you are worried about, uh, you know, endings. Um, you're worried about um, if you get into a new relationship, it's not going to end up well and it's going to turn out to be something that's not good for you. And, you know, you're scared of it. You're scared that any new relationship is going to make big changes in your life and, you know, you're scared to take that risk, it seems. You want transformation. You're hoping that things change for you, but you are scared to actually make that first move. So you've got the Temperance card, the Hangman, and you've got the Seven of Rods over here. So the Temperance card speaks about finding your balance, your inner strength, uh, grounding yourself, uh, centering yourself, and healing as well. She's pouring water from the two cups, so and it's going to her heart chakra. So, you know, you need to actually balance yourself, find your uh, emotional uh, midpoint, and not get very upset about anything that happens. And, you know, you are being divine guided with the Temperance card. It's ruled by uh, Gabriel, the angel Gabriel. So, you know, he um, or she, Gabriella, um, you know, helps with that uh, communication. And uh, this is what, you know, you need to, to find that balance and communicate how you feel to people around you. And, you know, you do feel like things are very much at a standstill with hangman. Things are not moving. So while you're not, while they seem to be not moving... 
you are managing to see things from a different perspective and you're also healing because the temperance card is also about healing so all the things don't seem to be moving and you, it might frustrate you a little bit it is a time that you are taking to heal and you've got the seven of um, rods over here so you are being uh, you know this is a card about defense um, with the seven of rods that defending yourself against anything watching your back but it seems like there's somebody around you who will um, also be there to protect you and defend you in any kind of problem. So you might be meet. This might be a very good friend that is protecting you, watching your back, and somebody that you can rely on. So you do have that kind of support. And it seems like this person is also supportive here because you've got the Six of Pentacles over here. So there is somebody around you that is very, very, very supportive and very, very, um, you know, um, somebody you can rely on to watch your back, to stand up for you when there are any problems. So all the things don't seem to be moving. You do have very, very close friends and somebody that is looking out for you. There might be this offer that is coming in from this king of coins. You've got the page of coins over here bringing that offer coming in. So there might be some kind of communication for a new relationship. But for the moment, it seems like you're just taking your time to heal, get yourself better, and you are spending a lot more time with like friends, it seems, and also being very defensive and not allowing people to get too close. But there are people that are defending you and are there to protect you and look out for you. So there are people that are watching your back. And this is a good place to be when you're in a healing phase. And you are getting your power back with your queen of staves over here. So you are coming into your own. So this is the Archangel Power Tarot. And you've got the page of Raphael, which says a new emotional situation, um, messages regarding relationships and social invitations, great intuitive insights. So it looks like there is going to be some kind of invitation. And it looks like it's going to come from the work front as well. You've got two pages, or three pages here already, page of cups, page of coins, and this page of Raphael, which is saying that, you know, with this a page of Raphael is like the page of cups. So there is an, an offer that's going to be coming in. Um, somebody asking you out, um, you know, some kind of invitation that comes out and it's something that you need to take because, you know, it's going to be a good social invitation and even if you don't make any kind of um, relationship with this person that asks you out, you might meet other people around and that opens the doors for you to move on from the situation that you were in. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming, so things are going to start moving. You've got the new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So you are heading towards happiness. So it looks like this page of Raphael brings you this invitation, ends old cycles, and new happiness is coming in for you. And you've got the Strength card finally, which says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So here you are taking control of that situation and coming into your own power and your own strength. So you are developing your self-confidence again and getting back to who you used to be. You know, just watch out for people around you that could be a bit, uh, you know, um, deceptive. But for, for the most part, you will be able to sort this particular uh, issue out and you will get your confidence back. And the Wheel of Fortune coming in that will change everything for you. So uh, happiness coming in for you and there is some kind of invitation coming in for you. Um, definitely coming in from the work front. But all in all, you've got some good friends and good people around you that are going to be there to assist you. And you're, you're healing. You've got the Queen of Staves, so you're getting that power back again. And, you know, don't spend too much of time uh, being agitated about what happened in the past. You've cut it out now, so now move forward. And, you know, you will be able to bring, you will be able to manifest. Because what you think with the manifestation magician card is generally what manifests. So think positively and go out there. Um, you know, don't isolate yourself. Uh, and accept any kind of invitations that come. Because this will open the door for you to heal and for you to move on. So stop being stuck in the past. Um, so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.